Hello everybody, this is Noxf, and today we're going to be playing Terraria, and in the last episode we just left off with the Goblin Army coming, and, uh, it's here. A guy just got killed. We have no way to defend ourselves. We are incredibly underpowered and not at all prepared for this. But, we are going to have to basically force to uh, do this. There's nothing we can do to this. There's no way to stop the event except from beating it. And beating it is going to take a long time. So, what better way to do it than with a montage? Okay, so we just defeated the Goblin Army, I've cleared everything up, and it's day now. So, the benefits of clearing out a Goblin Army is now that we can find a new NPC. And this new NPC is called the Goblin Tinkerer. And the Goblin Tinkerer is an NPC that sells lots and lots of different stuff. They sell rocket boots, they sell a, a workshop, so it's like a new crafting bench table thing that you can craft new stuff with. Um, they sell grappling hooks. Really, a, a really good NPC. They can also reforge stuff, which is giving it different modifiers. And the reason why I'm downstairs is not because I need more platinum. It's because that the Goblin Tinker can be found underneath the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little searching around and try to find this Goblin Tinkerer. Okay, so there's good news. I just found bound goblin which is the goblin tinkerer he says thank you for freeing the human i was tied up and left behind, left here by the other goblins you could say that we didn't get along very well so i can now go to a shop and i can buy a bunch of different stuff from him i don't have any money now but what i'll do is i'll get and i can also reforge stuff so my vile thorn which is a weapon that i just got um i got it from breaking more of those orbs that we showed before so yes well this vile thorn that i got I can like reforge it and then it gives me a different modifier. For example, my platinum pickaxe, the modifier is superior. This is rapid, sluggish, it's kind of like the prefix of a weapon. So using that guy, we can actually um, pick and choose them, although it can get quite expensive. Speaking about NPCs, NPCs need houses and right now I only have one house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to if you haven't noticed, this house is pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to make more houses. Because there's a lot of NPCs. I have at least like three NPCs, which I have that need to move in. So what I should do is, I should start making more houses. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So, let's make some houses. <laughs>
Okay, so I just finished building my home, and it's right over there, but something more pressing has just happened. I just got the notification in the chat saying that an evil presence is watching me. And for all Terraria veterans, you know that this means the Eye of Cthulhu is coming. And the Eye of Cthulhu is the boss that I wanted to fight in the end of the last episode, but I didn't have the time for. And, uh, you know what, I'm probably not going to beat the Eye of Cthulhu, considering that I lost immediately against, so far, every single boss that I've tried. But I might as well try, because it's a free boss summon. So, any time now, the Eye of Cthulhu should spawn, like when it hits night. Okay, so, the Eye of Cthulhu just summoned, and you can see it right there, it's a big hulk and eyeball. So what I'm going to be using is I'm using my strong platinum bow, which has frostbound arrows. Frostbound arrows are arrows uh, combined with um, blue torches, which are made using ice in like, the snow biome. And they give the frostbound debuff, which stops regeneration, which doesn't really affect the Eye of Cthulhu, because the Eye of Cthulhu can regenerate. But it also does just continuous damage, about 6 to 8 damage. Um, well, minus defense, so in total, that's not much deep. Not much, it's like two, but it's better than normal arrows. So that's what I'm going to be using for a lot of it. I also have my shotgun. Uh, I would use the Vile Thorn, except the Vile Thorn is not very good at the Eye of Cthulhu boss fight. It's better with like direct damage. So I'm going to be using Ranger uh, class stuff, even though I don't really have any Ranger armor, I'm still going to be using it, because it's better than my limited magic class. So I have my wings and my double jump, and I'm going to be, you know, kind of just avoiding his attacks. Uh, so when he goes up, I go sideways. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to see, because it's nighttime. I probably should have looked this up better. Uh, I do have a light orb, and that's the light pet, and that light pet can give me light, and it follows me around, and I got that from smashing more of the shadow orbs in the corruption. Anyways, he's getting low, and as you can see, he just turned into his second form, and now he does these dashes. And these dashes, you might be able to see, it's very dark, um, but these dashes are really, really fast and go towards me, and unless I'm in constant uh, lateral movement, I will almost always get hit by it, and it does a lot of damage. So that is probably the number one thing that could end this boss fight now. He's also incredibly hard to hit when he's doing the dashing, and he dashes more and more the less health he has. So by the end, it's going to be almost impossible to hit him because he's going to be dashing so much. It looks like he's almost dead, and there we go! We killed the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, so I just killed the Eye of Cthulhu. And I got the Spiked Shield of Cthulhu, which is actually really good. The Spiked Modifier. So I'm going to replace... I don't need the Metal Detector. So now, I can dash. Which... And it does damage. It does damage. I just absolutely murdered that. So yeah, this should come in useful when fighting both Skeletron and also the Eater of Worlds. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually make a arena, and then I'll talk to you guys when that arena is done and we can fight both of them. Okay, hello everybody. So, I am back and I've dug out this large arena, and I think it'll be more than good enough to kill this thing for reals this time. And you see, I have a lot of potions, so I am super duper ready. Buff, again. So, again, I'll just do the old this. Oops, I'm gonna get the shoot on my Okay, I'm gonna try to trap it in. Um, yeah, I've trapped myself in more now. Get out my bow because this card does more damage when everything's straight. When everything's curled up, it's good to use the vine thing, the uh, magic weapon. When everything's straight, it's probably better. Yeah. Okay, I am low. This is worrying me. I wish I had better wings, I guess. More just mobility in general. I think. 
be careful here. Six seconds, just like last time. Just like last time. Health two, one. Zero seconds, health coach. There you go. Everything's super low health. It's just the end. Okay, this is very, very close. You wanna watch out? There's not many left. This is a bit easier. I can now dodge. There we go. I defeated him. Okay. So, the Eater of Wars has been defeated. My heart is beating super, super hard. Still have a lot of bosses left. Well, sorry, it's not bosses. I still actually do have a lot of bosses left. Um, but. That feels really, really good. Mystical skull. Okay, so opening this up, I got the brisk worm scarf, trash sale, demonite ore, and some money. 15 gold pieces. So, this worm scarf that we just got reduces damage taken by 17%. So that's actually really good. So I'm gonna replace that with my shackle. So the next thing that we have to worry about now is Skeletron. Skeletron is pretty good. Um, so I'm kind of worried about him, but I really have, I prepared all my buffs in two, and so I think that, uh, next evening, I will try to fight him, and if that doesn't work, uh, I'll wait for a meteorite, and then get meteorite stuff. Okay, so I just got the space gun finished, digging out the meteorite, it's not actually completely done, it's not completely good. But, you can see that I now have Meteor Helmet, Meteor Suit, Meteor Leggings, plus 9 magic damage, which the weapon that I crafted, the space gun, is a magic weapon, and a set bonus, magic gun, costs 0 mana. So now, this is, I've just turned myself into a killing machine. I can deal a lot of damage. This setup, if skilled enough, can take down the wall flash. I'm nowhere near skilled. So I might need to try a different, more powerful loadout to kill the wall of flesh. But hopefully, uh, even with my skill level, I might be able to try taking down the skeleton. 